Hello my dear friend this is Rakesh and in today's videos we will cover one of the favorite interview question which is related to the data types and uh, most of the time I have seen that uh, in the interviews uh, the interviewer revolves around uh, the BC question sometimes they, uh, they most of the question most, most of the question revolve around the interview uh, integer in 32 data type string and the assigned assigned uh, data types so in today's videos i have decided to create a video so that uh, uh, this can help and uh, make the understanding of the peoples about uh, these data type and they can crack their interviews so uh, easily so in today's video we'll cover about the integer versus in 32 and other data type like in 16 in 64 and uh, apart from this uh, we will also discuss the string versus string so here if we uh, while doing the coding we will uh, we have seen in the most of the time if we write this uh, s capital and the string the, that string uh, variable is uh, colored as a sky uh, sky blue color is uh, given but uh, if we write the all small letters then uh, that the dark blue color is given to that string letter so um, do these two have the difference while doing the coding we will also check the same and uh, we also see the signed and unsigned signed and unsigned data type what are they so <coughs> let's uh, flip to the visual studio and we will um, do it practically and we'll see how and in which class they belongs to so let's uh, move to the visual studio here I have created a simple console application in order to save the time and uh, so that we can finish the interview quickly and finish the video quickly and can share the knowledge here I have created a two string variable sorry for the naming convention my main motive is to share the knowledge so I have not uh, given focus on the variable naming convention so so I have taken a string variable so you can see if st s is in small then it's given a blue color wherever s is in capital then it's a uh, sky blue color it's given a different color so we'll click on this and we'll do the f12 we'll see which class it belongs to it belongs to the public sealed class string the same string class and we will see the uh, next it also belongs to the same class so these two letters are not having any difference when you are you are writing a string in small and string in capital you will not face any difference while doing the coding with this right and moreover you will uh, do the mouse over on this you will see the class in the tooltip class system dot string and then another class system dot string right so programmatically you will not find any difference over there you can use these uh, both the string variables and apart from this uh, the interview is also sometimes focus on these keywords sometimes we use and uh, we write the int and sometimes we write the int 16 in 32 and int 16 so most of the time i have seen that the interview asked the question that what is the difference between int and int 32 so these are the signed integer right int in 16 in 32 and in 60 in 64 i have taken a variables and i uh, have assigned a value on the int if i'll press uh, i'll click on the int 30 int and press the f12 then it will go to the int struct it will go to the public struct in 32 assembly it, it will go to the struct in 32 and if we'll uh, see in 32 that will also move to the in 32 struct so we can say int and in 32 is the one is the same thing moreover on the f12 you can see its maximum value whatever it can save and the minimum value whatever it can save minimum value from minus to zero and up to positive value up to this value and this is the same range uh, you can say in case of the in 32 21 47 48 36 47 the same integer range and it belongs to the same class same struct if you see the 16 in 16 that didn't belong to the separate struct and it has the separate range which is less than the 32 so 
so you can say if you want to store less value than small value than in 16 and uh, uh, you can go uh, for the higher value in 32 and in 32 and int is the same thing and it will go out by int 64 then that have the very higher value than this so this is the maximum value we can store right and from negative as the negative value plus positive value both so I'll copy this maximum value and uh, try to save the value larger than this and I will paste so instead of one take one two three I'll paste the value over here on this so it it's accepting right so I will write one two too large you can say in integral constant is too, too large so if you try to build it will not build it will give you the error that integral constant is too large so I will remove the two values and keep the maximum value whatever it was earlier having and uh, I will build so see it build successfully zero failed nothing failed everything is building successfully so if you want to check the its limit etc then you can go open and click and F12 you can say the limits and all the functions which are um, supportive to this and these all are the signed fun signed data types you can store the positive value as well as the negative value inside this right but along with this you are also having the unsigned integer value unassigned integer value like you can write in which u is written in front of the e existing unsigned uh, sorry signed integer u int u int 16 u int 32 and the the difference is between the signed and unsigned is if you click on this and if you press the F12 you will go and see is also belongs to the struct int u int and u in 32 belongs to the same struct but you will see the value difference you you are not having any value in negative so this is the value you can store in a positive right so all values are in positive if you make the value in negative it's showing the red line over there it's, it's not accepting and uh, see the pop-up com constant value minus one two three cannot be converted into the u int cannot be converted to u short so it will not accept the values in the negative right it will give the errors over there right so if you want to assign if you want uh, some variable that that can accept the value in a um, positive plus or minus in both the cases then uh, you have to go with the integer value and uh, that's the signed data type otherwise uh, you can go with the unassigned data types if you know that your value will always be in positive then you need not to worry about this and uh, the range is also the same if you we'll, if will go beyond the range then they will also give the they will also give you the issue sorry here it's accepting I'll remove the minus values so it, it's accepting this uh, remember mm, this is the green color zigzag value is indicating that uh, we have declared the value this is a warning so it will not stop us from building the uh, from building our application but if you'll increase the value a red line will come so this is a, a error this will stop you from build the application so if you build control shift V it will give the error so range remove the range it will work fine similarly you have the long signed integer for them storing them extra large value rather than which are beyond the capacity of these integer into 32 into 64 and similarly it have the u long for unsigned value you can click the f12 on this and you can see this is the range value this is the range value you can you can uh, store in here long it will not say anything but it will store over here uh, 
this will be stored in six point will give a issue right it will build will give a it will not build so if you will talk about the u long then you can say it have the again positive value it will accept the only the positive value not the negative value and that will be the approximately its range will be higher than long but remember always remember it will accept only the positive values so this was this was the all uh, brief introduction regarding related to the data types in which i try to cover the thing so that you can also yourself try and go over here and make the more understanding by pressing the f12 on these uh, data types so if you find this video any helpful then please like and subscribe and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video